I played football since I was about eight or nine, and then that's all I cared about at school, literally just football, football, football. 90 minutes of, of fun, um, playing with your friends. It's difficult, it's like a, any other addiction. It's just um, the tribalism, the, the game. The, 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 to me, there's no, it's the best sport in the world. Stop wars for football matches. They stop wars, they have ceasefires so that both sides can go and watch the game. That's how important football is and that's the power that it has. Who's the gay team? Who's the straight team? We don't know. Once the football starts, it's just a football. We were founded in 1991 uh, by a group of gay guys who wanted to play football and didn't feel comfortable playing in a heterosexual environment. I would never have dreamed of playing football until this club came along. I would have just thought it was a place I couldn't, I couldn't go. We just want to play football, and that's really all it is. It's not a political organisation, but these guys, I don't know if they could play football if it wasn't for us. I just think football's still a taboo, homosexuality, massively. If you're gay, you're supposed to like ballet and going to theatre, and you know, I love going to theatre, but it doesn't mean I can't like football. And there's lots of gay people who like football. The gay people that people see on TV every week is not the true reflection of the majority of gay people, it's just the loud minority. We feel that we're educating people, not doing it deliberately, but people are being educated. Because afterwards, you'll see players from the other team who are thinking, well, actually, you know, you guys are all gay, but you play a tough game of football. It's this little, you know, faggot, you're a faggot, or gay, oh, we can't lose to gays. I've heard that before about us. It made me laugh, because I think at the time, I think we beat them three or four nil, so it made it, it was quite funny, but it's sad, isn't it? Gay people as well can be prejudicial, saying, oh, what are you doing playing football? You just love being in the showers, ha-ha. So you can get the abuse from gay people as well as straight people.